so now we are at Loja del Lionello and uh, yeah, here is the castle of Udine. Nice places to visit. It's superb! And it's Jakabio! I like that Italy is culture, that the people of Italy, I think a lot of things that we like, no, to it can be to eat, it can be everything. It's not always easy, like the path that you that leads led me to to come here in Udinese and uh, to Serie A. A lot of hard work. Uh, put a lot of effort in, but at the end it paid off. I'm um, here now, I feel really good here in uh, Udine and uh, in Udinese and uh, I think that I can only grow as well and uh, to do it even more. And it's the most important that, uh, that you feel uh, comfortable so where you go, you know, that you feel uh, that you feel good and when you feel good then you then you can do good things on the pitch as well. Jakabiol joined Udinese in June 2022. The 24-year-old Slovenia international has been an almost constant at centre-back and has featured on the score sheet as well as the team sheet. The curling ball, the Ors header, and Udinese take the lead with 10 minutes left. I would say that I am a strong defender, good in duels. I read the game well and of course it's always nice to score goals. The goal against Verona is special when you score in the last minutes, uh, especially for a victory. It's, I think, one of the most beautiful things in football. When that feeling when you score at the last last moments of the game for uh, for three points, and uh, of course, you're, it sticks in your head for a long time for sure. Samarzic swings it up and Jakabiol. I hope that this season I, I can score as well. Udinese had a rocky start to the season, winless in the first 10 matches. The first success came against the unlikeliest of opponents. Falling rain and the falling whistles of San Siro. Pereira slides it into the back of the net. Yeah, for sure, we, we waited for this win a long time no, now. And it was some hard times, but... It's even more sweeter than when the victory comes. Even in San Siro, it's even uh, even more beautiful. And uh, for sure, it we can breathe now a little bit more. And uh, it was, yeah, for sure, for everyone, uh, really important. The final whistle goes. Gabriele Choffi wanted to see what his side were made of and how they showed him here tonight at San Siro. The new coach gave us a lot of energy. He speaks with us a lot. Uh, to show us what he wants from us and everything. And uh, yeah, so far, so good, really. I have only good feelings with him, and uh, I am sure that he can give us a lot uh, and help us a lot this season. Unfortunately, Biol broke his foot midweek in training, so he'll cheer his team on from the sideline when they host second to bottom Verona, the kind of match Udinese need to win. The Slovenian suggests his replacements at the back be on their guard against the Jello Blues main striker. Ted Channel takes the free kick. Lovely ball in! And Mila Juric has grabbed a level up. Juric, I think, is a striker that you have to be really smart against him. It's a big one. A really big one, uh, really good with, uh, with the head. But I'm sure we, we are a better team than, than, than Verona and we just have to show it on the pitch, give it our all. Uh, with the right energy, with the right attitude. Uh, to be ready for every every single ball, concentrate and uh, make one goal more than them. Well done. That's Emil. Nice. Ah, grazie a tutti.